Hi friends, welcome back to another Sims 4 video. My name is Sid and we do fun Sims 4 things on this channel all the time. Today, I feel like chilling and building. We're gonna be building a Sims 4 family house today, but I wanna make it bright. I wanna make it colorful. I'm in an exceptionally good mood today. So let's make a happy family home, shall we? So we're gonna start off building a shell. I want this to be not the perfect family home. I do have like a build series where we'll go in and try and build like the most perfect family home we can or whatever, but today the family that I'm picturing living here, we're gonna have a few kids. There's a few new Sims 4 packs that have come out that have a lot of really cute items for kids in the Sims 4. And I find what I'm just regularly building, kids kind of get the short end of the stick in my builds a lot of the time. So I wanna focus a lot on like the kid-friendly options here today. We're gonna have like a big full backyard where there's gonna be lots to do in there, kids' bedrooms and stuff. It'll be a fairly big house, I'm thinking like, like three bedrooms, two floors. But the main focus today is I want there to be a lot to do for kids. It's gonna be a really kid-friendly Sims 4 house. So I think I'm happy with this as my shell for now. We're gonna go ahead and get some wallpaper. And I told you guys I want this to be a really bright and colorful build that we're gonna do today. So I'm thinking we do like an orange for the outside or like a pink, like summertime vibes. I wanna do like sunflowers on the outside here I think could be really pretty. So we'll do that pink. And what if we did like another color on the outside like what if the garage is orange like sorbet dream house <laughs> like that with the blue lake in the background we can go really crazy with like the landscaping and pull it all together I think I'm gonna go for it let's do the roofing I think the roofing is gonna be kind of fun for this one because we have a lot of bump out so I'm gonna start off with a gabled roof piece I like to do my roofing in real time with you guys on these videos because I know some people struggle a lot with roofing in the sims floor it can be really difficult so I kind of like to slow it down a little bit just show what I'm doing. I'm covering this entire piece here with a hipped roof. And then we're gonna go in and get some gabled roof pieces to add a little bit of flair to the roof. I think for the shape of this, my roofing is looking a little steep. So I'm just gonna bring it down by a couple of ticks. I'm gonna delete these and replace them with this one that I just adjusted. So everything has the same angle. I'm gonna cover the obvious parts first. So I'm going in with my roofing and just bringing that same exact piece that I've got, copying and pasting it all on these bump outs. So on there, we're gonna put another one here and pull it out. And then I'm looking at the front of this thing. The top part is really boring right now. I'm going to take this and copy it. I'm gonna bring it all the way to the edge here so that it kind of lines up with that roofing that I've got already. And from here, we can play around. I think I'm gonna add another one to this side, like bring it out so that there's a little bit of separation there. And maybe for a little bit of extra flair, we can bring one over to this side and maybe leave it like that. I think I like how that looks. For our roofing, we're gonna go in with, I think, a brown today. I'm going to use this scalloped roofing from base game. I'm going to get my roof trim and I think for the top I'm going to use a different wallpaper for like some detail. I love adding the Sims 4 cats and dogs to my roofing. And then for this part in the back I think I'm going to bring the roofing back here that I had in the front and I'm going to copy and paste one down below and just add it in there. On this particular build I'm loving how the white looks like the white trim so I'm going to go in with my columns here. These are from the Sims 4 get together. I feel like this is like adding a high Highlight to a build. Is that weird? It's like really just adding like the whites, bringing in the extra contrast, I guess. It's totally giving sorbet. This is gonna be like the perfect summertime house in The Sims 4. That's gonna be our new goal. Okay, we're gonna go in with some platforms. I'm not gonna raise it up on a foundation. For my entryway, I think I'm just gonna use a platform here, bring it out, and then I'm gonna raise this up by like three ticks. Then we can do a stairway entrance using our platform. So I'm just gonna make sure it's like one below so that that our sims can still use this. And then now that I've done that, we're gonna have to go in on the inside and make sure that everything in here is reaching that height so my door isn't all like weird and off. So I'm gonna hold a control on my keyboard and I'm just gonna delete all the indoor walls for now. Obviously we're gonna replace these later on when we go in and do our layout. The only one I might keep actually is my garage. So garage, I'm gonna pull all the way across. I'm gonna leave that one on the floor level so that I can add like cars in there and stuff. And then I won't have to figure out how to do the ramp to get the cars in there. So I'm just gonna click and raise that up so that it's perfect. And I can even check to see if it is by deleting that wall. See how when I did that, you can see the difference. I'm just gonna undo and then raise it up by one more tick. Oh, I always forget to do my columns afterwards because then they're gonna, then they're gonna raise up. Learn from my mistakes, okay? <laughs> okay, let's get some windows on here. I know I want my windows to be white. So I'm gonna get my white color filter on. I don't know. 
I want, I think, like a longer one. What if we use these ones here from Get Together? I don't want it to be like a modern build, really. I think I could go in and add some blinds onto these just to get more of like a homey feel. I don't know what it is. I feel like that just helps. So I'm going to be using these here. These are base game blinds. This is a little trick that I've seen before and done before here on this channel. It makes it look like those are shutters on the window. So I like to go in and add those wherever if I have like a window that I think needs it. I think that's going to look pretty cool. Then for my other windows, I'm going to have a different variation going along the top, but something similar, something similar in shape. Let's try these. A three panel window. These are from base game. Up on the top floor, we're going to have like bedrooms and stuff. So I feel like these are a good fit. I'm going to be using these cats and dogs windows just as like roofing features. And I think I'm going to use a cats and dogs door as well. It totally gives that family house vibes. That can be my front door. And then this over here is going to be the garage. And I think I'm going to get either the Sims 4 snowy escape or there's an industrial loft kit door that we could use as well. But this one is what I was thinking for my garage door. I want to use two here and then we could do like a garage feature, a driveway. I think that would look really pretty. And then along the back, I'm planning on doing a big deck back here, but this is going to be a wide open window space. I think that looks really nice. And I've added an extra door in the back here. So this is how the back is turned out. Now for the fun part, we're going to start to add some details. And like I said, I want this to be bright, fun. So we're going to have a lot going on in our yard outside. Let's first lay out where we want our landscaping to be. So I'm going to go in with a terrain paint and I'm going to just kind of roughly lay out where I want it to go. So I know I'm going to do a garden here, maybe like along the stairs. We can do another one this way and along that. I'll probably have it go around the whole side of the house too. So I'll just kind of go like this. And back here, I'm actually going to use my platforms again to build a deck. So we have this back door where you're going to come out and I think I'm going to wrap it all the way around this way. This could be like barbecue area. I could even add some pergolas hanging over. Like this could be really pretty. Maybe if I shrink it and it comes right off the top there. We could also make like a little dining table under there or something. Okay, I'm going to shrink this back to size and I think I'm going to shift gears a little bit and do the backyard. So I'm going to start to lay out the areas that I want. I really want to have one of those backyard projection kits. This came with the new Sims 4 Little Campers kit and I haven't really gotten to play around with this kit that much, but I really like the items in this. This inspired me to want to do like kid friendly builds. It came with this really cute outdoor lawn blanket, which I'm going to put right in front. I also love these here. They're like crates with blankets on them. I think those are really sweet. Then we've got these pillows, which I've been adding these onto like couches and stuff. They have fun little patterns on them. Just everything you need with this kit to make such a cute little backyard. Also, another one of my favorite items that came with it is this swing set, which I've also been dying to use with those little lights on there. I think I'm going to bring that maybe over to this side. That can be another feature over here. We can do like a sand pit and everything. I'm going to start to carve out some of the areas with some terrain paint. So maybe this here can be like a dining. We could do a big, pretty umbrella with some of those like DIY chairs. Like these, I think the colors on these are really cute. Very summery, I must say. Good timing with this kit. I think also on the summery theme, I'm going to try and go and get a toddler pool. This one is summertime palms, kitty pool. Perfect for our house here. I literally bought one of these for my dogs and I have been sitting in it. It's even smaller. It's just like a big circle, but they love it and I love it. We could add these out here too. So there's something for like parents to do and they're still really colorful. I believe these are from City Living Debug. This is going to be our sand pit, which kids can play in there, which is so cute. Another added element for like things to do for them. This looks really weird right now because I'm laying out all my areas without the landscaping and it just looks so sad. This is how I used to build in The Sims 4, I think. No landscaping, just items everywhere. But now that I have the items that I want, I can start building like pathways and different like rooms for outside in a way. I used to struggle with backyards and I feel like this really helped me. So now that everything out here is laid out the way I want it, now I can go in with things like fencing, which I like to not do a perfect square for my fencing. I like to do a little bit of a different pattern with it. So this one, I can probably bring in some of my items a little more so that it's not as big, but we'll bring this out on a diagonal. And I think that's about it for like the shape that I'm going to do for it. Obviously, we'll bring it to the front when we do like the front landscaping. Now I'm going to start to add my landscaping, the greenery. We're going to pull this thing all together in the backyard with some of these. I feel like these are great to start like carving out an area. I think I'm going to bring these all the way back around like this. I'm also going to add some in here. And then with that, I'm going to match the colors that we have like on the outside of the house and everything. We'll get some pink flowers, some yellow. We 
could do like some of these in here. I even like to use these here from Island Living to like fill in the space. We'll get some trees back here. I am building in Brindleton Bay, which comes with The Sims 4 Cats and Dogs. So I'm gonna be adding in some cats and dogs, trees and landscaping just to match the surrounding area. Like this one can probably go up front. We can even add some smaller ones in there like this one. I'm gonna do some rock landscaping over here. So I'm gonna fill in the area for my garden with these. And then I think I do wanna do like a stone path of some kind leading back here. And then my fence can actually probably stop here so we can do the gate. And then I can section it off on the opposite side with the garage. We'll add our gate and then I'm gonna get my debug on. So we're gonna do bb.show live edit objects. I'm gonna type stone into my search bar and here we'll find all of those debug like garden stones that I love to use. I love to make paths with these. So I'm basically just gonna be following the terrain paint that I used, adding these stones. Big throwback to the Newcrest build series that we've got the stone path neighborhood. So with all our landscaping in the front and the back, everything is complete on the exterior here. This is our big colorful Sims 4 house made for families and particularly summertime fun. So this is what it's looking like. I freaking love the little sunflowers that are out here. I use the colorful mailbox from Nifty Knitting up there. We've got our yellow car here from the Cottage Living debug menu. I also added a bicycle. I think it's going to be really fun to do the garage and add a bunch of those like eco lifestyle debug bikes. We've got our trash hiding back there. So this is our landscaping here. I added another bike right there. Our stone path leading it to the back here. Then through the back gate, I thought this little garden section here looked so pretty with the path going through. So this is leading to the backyard where we have our swing set looking really pretty. I also added a toy box there so kids could play with them in the sand. Going over this way, we have our umbrella, a dining area where people could have food. We also have this little section back here with the pool. On the deck, I added a small dining room table in there as well as our barbecue in the back. Leading back here, we've got a small garden section right there where we can plant something. We have our huge projector in the backyard with all these little essentials. I added a s'more station which came with that new kit. Our pillows, this guy, which I love this guy. What's his name again? Bigfoot Stuffy, okay. We have our jungle gym over here with our like monkey bars. I had to add the froggy chair. I just had to do it. So I added the froggy chair with a different one and I didn't realize they have little feet. That's so cute. So yeah, this is what our fun filled backyard ended up looking like. We're gonna go inside, I think, and start to do the layout. So in we go. I think I'm gonna start with the top floor. First thing we have to do as always is add our stairs. So I think I'm going to want the stairs to be somewhere around the middle right here. Then we could do bedrooms on the right, bedroom on the left. And actually that's going to line up perfectly with where my entryway is. So if I add these here, maybe move them back a little bit, then we can section this entire part off. And that's pretty big. I could probably do a bathroom over here too. So we'll have bedroom there. That's probably going to be like the parents' bedroom. Then I have this window. Otherwise I would go straight back there. So maybe we'll go like this. Then this here could be another bathroom. Like this could be the bathroom for like the rest of the house. And then here, I do want to do two bedrooms. So maybe I'll split it down the middle like that. We can do one older kid's bedroom to the left. And then this one over here could maybe be like a toddler slash like nursery maybe. So we'll fence that off. And then downstairs, I kind of want to bring the walls in so that they're enclosing my stairs. So maybe I'll bring this out. We'll bring that all the way over like that. Or maybe out even a tad more like that. Then here we can bring this back and maybe put this wall on an angle, extend that outwards, and then we're gonna have an entire another room there. So we have left there maybe for a living room, right could be kitchen and dining, and then for a bathroom, I was thinking originally that the bathroom could go here. And then obviously we'll have a door there leading to the garage. For flooring, I think it would be nice if we did maybe some cottage living wood, maybe I'll put that all along the bottom floor. Actually, I think I could probably bring that up into these rooms too. I plan on using a lot of rugs and carpets for like play areas and stuff. So I think using the same flooring won't be too bad other than of course for the bathrooms. We'll change that into some kind of tile. And then for our wallpaper, like I said, I want to keep this really colorful. I'm gonna do, maybe we'll have to play it by room, but I know Eco Lifestyle has some really pretty paint shades that we could use. Like these, we could do a blue bedroom. Maybe we could do more of like a salmon color bedroom. I don't know, it's gonna be bright, but let's start off doing the kids' bedrooms. I really want to start here. I'm gonna get my doors, which I don't know which ones we're gonna use. Maybe like Strangerville? I haven't used these in a while and I really like the knob that they have on them. It's like this like blue diamond knob. I think that's gonna be the main kind of door that I use for my house. Then downstairs, obviously we're gonna open this up. Maybe I'll use columns and spandrels 
to open that up. So it's open concept, but still separated by like these spandrels here. Okay, kids room number one. Let's do this one here. I think this is gonna be like the older kids room. So first thing we're gonna get is our bed. I wanna see what the swatches are for this here. I'm gonna put our bed maybe right here. The blue is pretty, but I wanna go a little brighter with that. Maybe like a purple. Do you have a purple swatch? Oh yes, okay, maybe we can put this guy. Let's put him in the corner. Along with this car crafting table, I love it. I love the like DIY style of this stuff. Like if you zoom into these items, it really looks like just a cardboard box that they've turned into something. I kind of, I love that idea. I think I also want to see what werewolves has to offer. The Sims 4 werewolves is the newest pack that we've got. And they have fun like bedroom items. I think one of them, yeah, has this trunk here we could use. That's super pretty. I want to get the moonlight, like the lamp and put that on top. This here is one of my favorite new items. Along with that lamp too. This is kind of matching that DIY style. So maybe if I can get a matching swatch in here, that'll work. I want to use some pillows. So I'm going to get these like blue and purple ones here. I'll put them just around the bed just for like some coziness. Ooh, what about the dollhouse? This one here is really fun. Again, with that like DIY style. I like the lights on there. Swatches. I don't know if I'm going to find one I, that matches. I mean, that one's kind of good. We're going to get a big fluffy rug. This one is from the industrial loft kit. And now we clutter. <laughs> I'm going to put fairy lights along here because I think they're going to add a really cute vibe. I think I'm going to put these into the other room too. I love those space pictures there hanging. They look like they were just drawn up. If we add this right above this guy, he's going to look like he's got a little plumb bob. Let's do jungle adventure mirror here. And I'm going to find a few more things to put on my wall. We'll have uni in the corner. And I think I'm going to grab also a like chair. These ones, I love these ones from base game. I'm going to put one of those over there. That actually might be kind of creepy right next to the bed. Instead, we're going to use this one here and we're going to do the strawberry one. I think there's a purple strawberry. Yeah, there we go. So this is our first kid's bedroom. This is how it turned out. There's tons of clutter in here. Cute lighting. I made it a little bit dimmer. We've got all our toys to hang out with. Let's move on to the next kid's room. I really want to use one of the new Sims 4 werewolves like bassinets. I think they're so pretty, even though there's like scratches on the side. I love the sheep hanging from it and like the moon and the stars. It looks cozy in there. So we're going to have that, but I think they're going to share a room with one of the other kids. So I think I'm going to grab the same bed, but in a different swatch for here. And maybe this is a recently aged up like toddler, but I do throughout this whole house want to have like toddler items for the baby that's going to age up soon. So even though I'm putting a kid's bed in here, it's going to be kid and baby slash soon to be toddler. <laughs> but we're going to use this pretty colorful version of that quilt. Matching dresser. I think I want to use this one here. Maybe we can do the yellow swatch from the inside. Then on this side, I want to do a desk, like a homework area. Maybe this sim enjoys like being on the computer, reading, staying in the room a little more. Unfortunately, they're the youngest, so they have the baby bassinet in there with them. But I feel like that means that this kid is going to be really close with their like sibling when they grow up. So I'm going to add a desk in here. I wanted to have like the crafting stuff in there. I think that's kind of cute. We'll add a computer and I'm going to put some dream home decorator shelving above. This reminds me very much of like Ikea sort of furniture inside, like shelving units from Ikea, you know. We'll bring in the fairy lights. I'm going to add a snowy escape rug over here for a little more coziness. Like I said, I want to do like the stacked rugs everywhere. Imagine plot twist. This baby is a werewolf somehow. That could be an interesting dynamic. For our curtains, I'm using these ones here from the movie stuff pack. I love the colorful like textures on here. We're going super bold with this bedroom, so may as well go all out. And on this side, I'm going to do some toys over here. I think I'm going to get maybe like a mirror, like that stand up mirror with the lights on it. This one here from Parenthood. Maybe I'll put that on this side and I can get like a bookshelf right there. We'll do the colorful version of this one here. Hey, they're labeled. Actually, that's so cute. I need that. And then on top of there, we're going to add the smaller bookshelves like this. I'll raise this up. We can add some of these kids paintings right on top of here. And this is what our second kids bedroom looks like slash nursery. We've got all of our essentials in here. I also added the defender light, which I totally forgot about. That's going to protect your Sims against those horrible nightmares. We've got our desk here, a bunch of toys that I added in the shelves. And look how cute this little area is. I love it. So colorful, so bright. We are going to move on to our next area, which is going to be the playroom. This is going to be our last like super kid friendly focused area. But this is where I want to put every other toy that I couldn't fit. So I'm going to get my rug. I want to get a couple chairs out here. I want to see what other swatches we have for the froggy chair. So maybe we'll do like, <gasps> there's so many cute ones. The dog is so cute. The cat, there's little bears. Oh my God, I love that one. That looks like my dog. Let's do the little bear. I think that's cute. Let's put the bear right here. Maybe 
I'll do two chairs. We'll put those there. This can just be like a cute hangout area. Let's get a plant in the corner. And then I think I might do some TVs if that's possible. Like the get to work wall mounted ones are really small. So maybe I could put them right here. I want to do the rocket lamp. I think I might just like size one up and then put another one beside it. Let's do over to this side, another one of those like crafting tables with, ooh, maybe the Kitty Tunes radio. Maybe I can raise that up and put it on one of the chairs. I'm going to add these really sheer blue curtains from Parenthood. We'll do another plant on this side to even it out, make sure that the kids can still get back there. And then for wall decor, I'm thinking these skateboards here also from Parenthood with like a cork board maybe in the middle there. And I'm thinking some like posters or something to this side. Very cute. Ooh, also from this kit, we got some new fairy lights right here. I'm going to raise these up and put them underneath my window because these are so cute. They're going to be so versatile in like backyards and stuff. They also size up really well. So I kind of like that they made them smaller like that. So it's still going to be functional when you do raise them up. Then on this side, I'm thinking an ottoman could fit like the laundry day sort of DIY style looks good. We'll do a toy box here and maybe like a big plant in the corner. So this is what our hallway is looking like. Our play area over here. So cute. Then on the other side, I added some backpack clutter, tiny little toy toys and of course our Bigfoot stuffy. We do have a bathroom to do on this floor so I'm gonna add a bathtub. I want to make sure we have everything for our toddlers needs once they do age up. So we're gonna need a bathtub in here. We're definitely gonna need a potty. So I'm gonna put a tiny one right next to our other toilet which is gonna be to the right of the bathtub here. And now all we need is a sink over to this side. So with all our decor this is what our bathroom is looking like. A very patterned. We're using a Sims 4 decor to the max wallpaper. Some hanging plants in there and of course our little potty. And then for this room, this is going to be the parents' room. So I'm going to go in, I think, with a yellow bed. Using tons of yellow today. Very summer themed on the inside as well. Let's use maybe a patterned stripe yellow rug. Some parenthood end tables near the bed. Let's also get that mood light. Ever since I discovered this light here from Base Game, I've been using it constantly. I love the warm glow that it gives off. We'll grab some kind of picture on my wall here. I'm thinking this one from Dream Home Decorator. Then I could probably fit a desk over here so that if they do feel like doing some work or hanging out on the computer, they have a little bit of privacy to do that in their bedroom. So let's use this one here from Dream Home Decorator. I'm going to add a computer, probably like a yellow chair. So this area is starting to come together. I think I need to flip around and do a dresser somewhere. We still have this whole corner here, so I could probably add like a pretty big mirror, maybe with these lining the sides here. So I'm going to add these from Dream Home Decorator and in there I can put like shoes, clutter, even makeup, dude just like a small little bench in there. And I think I want to add pets into this. I think I want to have like a cat and a dog. So I'm going to add a bed for either one in here. Maybe I'll add two beds. We could do like one there and one here. Maybe they're like both small so they get along and they like to sleep next to each other, but in separate beds. One can be the egg. Then on this side, we could do probably like a parenthood dresser. The cats and dogs one could also be cute. I love how you can see all the folded things in there. I'm going to use that one instead. For the final touches in here, I'm going to be replacing some of my saucer lights with these wall lights just to give it more of a warm glow. I like to do this with my bedrooms. I feel like it gives it much more of a cozy vibe. Maybe we can even have like a lamp over here or something. Cute. So this is how our closet area turned out, our like open closet. On this side, we have our bedroom with our mood lighting, some cozy clutter, our <laughs> pet beds right beside the bed. And then for my bathroom, the bathroom is going to be pretty simple, I think. I think I might put a shower in this one. More for like quick time getting ready if they want to like get ready without the kids or something real quick. So we'll do shower, our toilet here, and then on the other side, I think I'm going to add some counters, like some dream home decorator counters to match that wallpaper that I picked. We can do a double sink moment, very helpful, with some tiny living mirrors. And then I'll pull it together. My accents is pretty neutral in here, but with the accents, we can add in some color, maybe a pink flower here from Cottage Living, and maybe some pink towels. And this tiny living bathroom thing, which also has a pink swatch. Okay, that's very cute. I like this top floor. I feel like it's very cozy. Let's bring that element downstairs. We're going to go and do the rest of the house. I think we're going to start off with the living room, which is going to be this room over here. So let's first get our TV. I think I'm going to put it along this wall here. So TV there. I want to bring in the patterns and the cozy warm lighting that we had from the upstairs. So for our rug, let's use cottage living. We're going to use cottage living in like a pink swatch. We're going to get some yellow sectionals here along this way. There's our cozy lighting and then underneath, I want to do like a different kind of TV unit. What about paranormal? We've got some pretty crazy patterns going on in here. If we could pull this off, that would be really cool. 
let's get a lamp over to this side and then I do want to bring in more like toys and kid friendly items in here. So I'm going to move all of this back a little bit and then behind we could do another area with like bigger items. Like we could do the cardboard dollhouse back here. I could even add another desk for like homework or something. Maybe if everyone wanted to be in the same room all together. So computer there, I'm going to get a matching yellow chair with like a mirror over top. We can add some plants on those walls and I'm going to do a big bookshelf over in this corner. I've got a little more space so I'm going to start filling it up with some other items. Maybe we can do a mirror over there. Coffee table in the middle. That coffee table is freaking massive. I'm going to add some of these over near the mirror there just as like some things that you could pull out and add to like the coffee table if you're doing crafts or something. So this is how our living room turned out. Nice and cozy in here. I added this little s'more station maybe for like movie night or something I think could be fun. We've got some more toys in here. Our bookshelf with some more books for the kids. We also have a study area slash dollhouse area. I've started to add a few things to my hallway but we're gonna move over and do the kitchen next. And for the kitchen I'm picturing a big long dining table like right down the middle right here. So I think I'm gonna use this one here from base game. We're gonna put that right there. Some pink chairs. I've used some cottage living wallpaper which I really hope I don't regret in here. We're gonna have a high chair at the ready because we do have our baby which is gonna grow up soon. Obviously since they have other kids they probably had a high chair anyway. So put that in the corner. I could see this family being very close and having like dinner all together pretty often. So I like that we're leaving a big space for them and that I need to do like a pet corner. We need to make sure our dog and our cat have our food. So we're gonna add that there. I also need to put like a toy box somewhere for them. Maybe I could put that in this little area in the hallway. And then on this side we could do like cat corner. I could put all the cat stuff on this side. So they're separated but just a little bit. Okay back to the kitchen. We're gonna do I think our appliances on this side. So I want to use these ones here from the country kitchen kit. I'm gonna be probably matching my appliances to that as well. We could do like a pink fridge. I think I'm destined to one day have my own pink fridge. <laughs> I always put pink fridges in my builds. I've never seen one in real life though. That'd be pretty cool though. So if you got a pink fridge or know someone who does, let me know. Up top we can also add some of the matching cabinets. We'll do our sink here. I want to add like a dishwasher to help out with some of the chores. Maybe a microwave for those quick meals. Then I still have a lot of space. I could totally do an island in the middle here. So I think I'm gonna do two regular counters on this side with like the island pieces here. Our trash can over to the side there. We'll do the automatic one. And I think I'm gonna do some yellow bar stools there. Then on this side, I like to add coffee corners sometimes. So I think I'm gonna do a coffee corner over here. We'll get our coffee maker to go on there. We could add some like storage clutter. Maybe like these have like coffee in there. This one actually has a coffee bean picture on it. So that's definitely gonna go there. Let's get something fun in here. Let's add like a fish tank, like a big one. The kids would probably have a blast playing around with that. And then we could do a fish bowl like on here. Very pet friendly area in here. We've got cats, dogs, fish. Maybe I'll add like a turtle or something. So this is what our kitchen is looking like. We've got our chairs in here. We have tons of appliances to choose from. Our coffee area. We also have our fish tank and pet area over to this side. I've also added hallway features. This is the back door here. I've got that thing there from Cottage Living. We've got some storage containers, some cute chairs, maybe extra chairs to like bring outside for dining or something. I finished my cat corner. We've got the cat like scratchy things. There's some toys there. The dog and cat living in harmony. I finished the bathroom on this floor, which was pretty similar to the one upstairs. So I just did that one off camera, but we've got our bathtub downstairs, double sink moment again. Tons of bathrooms in here so that no one has to like overlap on each other, which happens a lot with family gameplay in The Sims 4. I added another bookshelf over here and two little things for our dog, two toy boxes. The final room we have to do is our garage, which I did say I wanted to add some more bicycles. So we're gonna get some eco lifestyle bikes. I wanna put a few in here, like the whole fam has a few to choose from. And the patterns are so cute. They have like little flowers. We've got this one with like bubbles or something. I think there's like, yeah, that one is really pretty. I also wanna get a car in here. So we're gonna have two cars, not that they work. Maybe we'll put like a truck in here. We'll get some barrels, some extra storage going on. I think I wanna add like a woodworking table over to this side. We can put that right there. Maybe like a floral arranging table too, just for like extra skills and things to do. Just your typical like garage stuff going in here. And I think it would be really fun. Since this is supposed to be like a summer Sims 4 house, I think what I wanna do is add some like storage boxes from Seasons. And those are gonna contain like the Christmas decorations or the 
holiday decorations that we've got. So we'll put those like here, your typical garage like storage stuff, off season like supplies. We can even put some towels back here if we're gonna go swimming in the little kiddie pool. Like our reindeer decoration can go there. And maybe on the off season, we hang our Christmas lights in the garage. Hence why we've got all these little fairy lights, not just for aesthetic. And there we go, we've got our garage. We have some skill items in here, some trash and some off season supplies. We've got our bicycles, which you can use and our extra car. So that has been our Sims 4 house build. I hope you guys enjoyed it. This is our family home inspired by summertime. Tons of stuff to do here. I will put it on the gallery under Sydney Macarena if you guys want to download it. And let me know if you guys have any build suggestions or ideas you want to see me do in the comment section down below. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Thank you.